Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to Sarnet Television. Now, Chris mentioned to me a moment ago that sometimes people find this somewhat boring when he's taking some things apart. I don't. I think they're very interesting, actually. And one of the things he's going to be taking apart right now is in the ion family. And what he's going to be doing is to be showing you the difference with the respective lenses. Right, Chris? You got it. Okay, so Chris is going to lens this particular product. Chris. The ion LED light head has an optic lens on the front here. Well suited for many applications, interior or exterior. But what I'm gonna show you here is if you'd like to switch positions with the lights, changing them from a vehicle, rearranging the placement, or if just the ones that you have now, you'd like to adjust the functionality of them, I'm gonna show you how you can change the lens here from the standard optic to the wide optic lens. And also demonstrate, gonna go ahead, turn the light head on as it is now with the standard lens, point it toward the screen so you can see how the light output will adjust with changing the optic lens. So as you can see, nice and intense output, good spread against the screen there. Red blue split version, as you can see. So as I mentioned, standard optic lens. Well, to switch it out, it's a simple process. The back of the light head here, four retainer screws, go ahead and remove those, and that will allow the front lens here to be released. Go ahead, give it a wiggle free. One piece polycarbonate UV resistant lens, incorporated gasket as well, seals it against the cast housing. And to show you before I put the other one on, here is the wide angle. UV resistant polycarbonate. If we zoom in here, you can see between the two, the optics are definitely a bit different. Standard lens here, wide optic dispersion here, and you can see on this, the ribbing on the optics is a lot tighter than it is on the standard here. So with that, the more ribbing it has, the wider the intensity or the LED manipulation spread is. Both incorporate the seal gaskets, and the nice thing that makes them interchangeable is you can see here, on the post where it affixes in with the screws, the post placement is identical. So standard lens, go ahead, set that aside here, and put the wide angle on in its place. There you have it. Lens easily switched over. Retainer screws on the back, resecured into place. We'll go ahead now, reapply 12 volts, point it toward the screen so you can see how the optic change manipulates the light spread. Go ahead, point it toward the camera first. And now, toward the screen. So you can see better spread to the left and to the right. So, as I mentioned, it's the wide output lens, so with that wide output spread for your light. So in applications, say on a push bumper or vehicle front grill, 
the wide lens may suit a little bit better just to give a little bit more off access spread of lighting. So again, if you'd like to upgrade the ions you currently have, easily done with a quick lens change. Well, there you have it. The effectiveness of what optics can do, the ease of changing those optics, should you ever need to. Thanks for watching, SirenNet Television. I'm Chris. Back to you, Stuart. I'm um, Stuart. Have you actually noticed sometimes when this particular camera is taking a look at Chris, he has a halo behind his head here, this particular shot. Thanks for watching Silent Television.